Hello guys, uh, welcome back to another one of our videos. This time we're going to be uh, hacking this little radio here. It is a Radio Shack 12469. Now you see it's the silver model, so that means it is the second version of the 469. Um, Usually you can tell which version is which. Um, if you were to open it up, the original 469 is all white for one. Two, when you go inside, you'll see pins inside. And then uh, this version here is silver, so that's another one. It also comes in black, but you got to be careful you don't get the 470, because that's the unhackable one. Uh, but there is a black version that you can hack for the 469 uh, with this version when you open it up as you will see here soon we have ribbons inside so that's how you can tell which came first so now this radio right here that we're gonna hack it's already been hacked and the reason I went ahead and hacked it already and before videotaping is because I found it on eBay uh, normally on eBay they're anywhere from uh, 100 to 150 for this particular brand I didn't pay that much uh, this little guy I got for $40 uh, and the reason I got it for $40 it was uh, broken and the guy didn't know what it was, so he sold it for $40. So I had to go ahead and uh, do the repair already. And then while I was inside, I went ahead and did the hack. Uh, since I was just trying to take a stab in the dark at hacking this one. Because if you see on YouTube, um, I haven't seen anybody post a video on how to hack this particular model. Uh, the second edition. So, with that said, let's go ahead and uh, get inside there, and I'll walk you through what you got to do to hack this one. Alright, so let's go ahead and flip her on the back. You're going to see that we have two screws right here. We're going to open the battery compartment up. Remove the batteries. It's always good to remove the batteries. You don't want any fry anything. So... Okay, and once we remove the batteries, you have two more down here. And if you notice here, there's a misplaced, uh, well, not a misplaced, but a uh, odd looking screw color in there. So that tells me that somebody had already been inside this. So let's go ahead and uh, open her up and see what we got here. So that's four screws. Try to keep them to where you don't lose them. All right, and go ahead and take your finger now and run it through there. And let's kind of do this gently, because most of the times when you see these battery connections right here, there's going to be a wire, two wires running from it to, to the other side of the board. So when you pry it apart. You have to be really careful not to overstretch that wire. And we flip around for you. And as you see, there is the wire right there. Let me move this out of the way. So and in there the inside of your box. Alright, so now that we got our open here, let's gently Pop this up and move it over to see what we got here. Okay, 
so we being careful that's what we got now this particular radio that I purchased what was broke first this was broke the wire was ripped off so I had to re-solder it to fix it and that probably happened when whoever had this opened it up so that's our second sign that somebody had opened this up okay now let me try and uh, move it up here alright so the part that we want is this cable right in here so and as you can see let me try to focus it here we are looking at the mute wire so the mute wire is going to be the third wire on the ribbon here so if you look at the colors black is going to be your LED then you have the white that goes to your B positive and then the third wire is your mute wire and you can already see that I've already disabled that wire now if you look down here you'll see where this little weird looking color thing yellow and green now what that was that was my patch apparently whoever had this tried to hack it and cut the wrong wire and what they ended up cutting was the white one as you can see is RB positive so in a nutshell here we want the mute wire which is going to be a gray color on this particular model and that so I went ahead and repaired the bridge for the B positive and then I cut the mute wire so basically that was pretty it you don't have to get you don't have to loosen up uh, the board that's over here or anything so don't be confused and think it's this ribbon down here so we want this ribbon right in here and we want the gray wire and basically that is the hack and uh, yeah pretty simple so this radio is still not fully functioning I have to uh, figure out how to fix um, the screen the screen is not lighting up or displaying anything so that's what I've got so far. Alright, so now that that issue is fixed, the screen works. All that was missing was some screws inside to hold the board in. So, a simple fix. Alright, so now what we're going to do is going to go ahead and replace your two upper screws and then your two screws down here in the compartment. So, as you can see, the screen works now, and you can scan, you don't even have to hold it down, so that's on AM, and hit the button, so we can scan on FM, and it can do it in any direction, so there you go. That's all it is. Simple. A uh, hundred and fifty dollar radio for forty bucks. I would say that I got lucky. Or the spirits were looking out for me. Alright, so should we hear what it sounds like? Alright, so oh, this doesn't have an internal speaker, so let's hook it up. See what it sounds like. <laughs> All right, let's switch it over to AM.
I don't know if I like it on air. Alright, so there you have it. The 12469 version 2. Hack. Alright, thank you for watching.